your own life. You accept you only no, but that's not the same thing. Because this is not somebody. You need to if you have an abortion or take the plan B pill, that's not the same thing as murdering a child that come out of your vagina. Those aren't the same things. A womb is the start of a birth for a female. For a male. Anybody. A womb is where it starts. A womb doesn't exist till like 13 weeks out. How do you know? How do you, what do you base that on? Based on regular scientific research. Well, don't scientific textbooks say that life begins at fertilization? That's not what Alex. That's not true at all. Like, because if life begins at fertilization, there'd be so many people who have had babies that are not real babies that die within their womb. Because you can fertilize an egg, that does not mean that egg will come to fruition. Those yeah, that can, be, that can be miscarriage. Yeah, exactly. So if life begins at fertilization, that's saying a miscarriage is the murder of a baby. Not when that's the women taking their own, sorry, taking their own, uh, their biological form and rejecting the fetus. Like, you understand? Like, well, there, there is a difference in that a miscarriage is an act of God. It's not, it, it's not an, an act of a human being. It's not always an act of God, because think about it. Like, if a, if a, if a miscarriage is an act of God, some women getting hit in the train station with an elbow and causing a miscarriage three weeks later, is that an act of God? Well, I mean, it's always not an act of circumstance. You can see it being in a different well, city, not, different state, not, and a different time. It's not, it's, not, it's not intentional killing. So you can't say an act of God is intentional and not intentional at the same time. No, what I'm saying is, both of those, that in the case that you brought up, it's, it's unintentional. That someone elbows a woman by mistake. Or, it could be intentional. Women, people do that all the time. In that, case, in, that, in that case, it would be murder if it's intentional. But not really. You know why? Uh, because our laws wouldn't prosecute an elbower, but they would prosecute a woman who had a pregnancy 13 weeks out. They would prosecute if it was intentional. No, they wouldn't. Because women get raped intentionally all the time in this country and never have any rights about it. So how could you say that the criminal justice system would stand up for a baby who's not born but a woman who has full rights? Well, it, should. it shouldn't, but it does all the time. The same way that people like me, who look like me, get murdered in the streets all the fucking time without any rights or justice. Right? I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm saying think about it. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not pro-abortion, but I'm pro of able people to be having their own choices. That is pro-abortion. No, it's not. Choices are not abortion. Because you know what you can do? You can give it up for adoption. You know what you can do? You can give it up to the foster care system. You know what you can do? You can make sure that that, that, that child's taken care of by someone more responsible than yourself. I'm not saying that we need to kill all the babies. I'm saying that choices are important. They are. Right? So you're saying that choices are important. What? I couldn't see what it said. Okay. Yeah, here. That's, that's what's on the sign. I'm not okay. saying you're wrong, bro. I'm not saying you're wrong. Well, we definitely I love have. Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior every single day. So you're a Christian? I am. So but, that's the, but, so this, but Christianity and anti-abortion are not the same. Do oh, you yeah. understand? Well, but Christians, Christians are anti-abortion. They should be fighting to end this whole time. The Holocaust is a cool term because you know when no one ever stops. You need to turn away from your you sin. You want to go back to it? I mean, no one ever stopped. Sin. You know you what happened? They, they were like, oh, we're going to have a war to decide the fate of these people who have no control of their own this rights. This is people. a picture of a child. Those are two different sure. things. You want to fight for this? Fight for equality for anyone else. For anyone. Not just this. Anyone. You understand? To fight for their children. Are you assuming that I don't? Are you assuming that I don't? I'm assuming that you're protesting for this right now. You should decide to stand out here for this right now. Yeah. Not for equality, not for the grace of God. Care you about decided the to stay not here for anti-abortion. Well, that's for God. That's why we have to point it out. Well, I'm not here that's for God. I'm not here preaching the grace of God. We have to show it to you. He is. Hey. I'm here with him. Oh, Do you want one? I'm telling you the truth today. I'm telling you. Yes, I'm telling you. Telling people about the grace of God. Thank the good Lord. He, the grace, the grace of God is displayed here. in Jesus Christ. The grace are you, of God are you a Christian? is the fact that yes, God sir, sent His Son into the uh, world to know? save people. He yeah, crushed His Son. He you, punished you, Jesus you so that you don't have to be punished. What do you, so that what you, what you base your salvation on? You so that you don't have to burn in hell for eternity. But you have to put your faith in Jesus. You have to reject your sins. You have to decide. So live in obedience to God.
wall of shit. People hate the truth, that's why they attack us. That's why they do things like this to us. Because they know that it's true. If we were spewing nonsense, then everybody would just ignore us. But people know that they're insane. They know that what we're saying is true. And they don't like it. They want to continue to live in sin. They want to continue to live in sin. And they don't like it. They want to continue to live in sin. That's why they hate us. That's why they hate the message. Well, so yeah, people, I mean, the, the person inside the woman is made in the image of God. Animals are not made in the image of God. That's the difference. Well, who, made, who makes the animals? Well, God does. But they're not made in the image of God. It says, it says in the book of Genesis that God made man in his own image. Yeah, who made the animals, though? You said God made the animals. Yeah, but not, but not, in, but not in his image. You can't be good enough. You can never be good enough to get right with God. I mean, just, he, just, he just made them. I can't see perfection. If that makes sense. It, it, I mean, I mean, he, he made both people and animals, but he did not make animals in his own image. He made people in his own image. You believe that life, every life should be most precious, right? Every life matters. Every life, every, every life matters. But, but, but the reason that the reason that the reason for the sixth commandment, you shall not murder. Because people are made in the image of God. I mean, I'm not saying I believe in you know killing every animal because I don't. But because I, I don't believe in killing animals for the fun of it. Yeah. I don't like that because I, I love animals. Yeah. But you can't love, some, love something to kill it though. Are you straight? My what? No, just my. I mean, even the side wasn't that bad. No. Thanks. Uh. Yeah. What's that? I said, do you need anything? Or? No, I'm fine. She didn't hurt me. Yeah, thank you, officer. So, but, like, does it make sense that you can't love something and kill it, though, too, right? Like, I can't say I love you and then murder you and be like, well, I loved him, though. I mean, not contradictory? Well, I mean, I don't know anybody who kills their animals, like, when, they, when they've known them for a while. I don't know. I, I mean, I wouldn't kill an animal if, if I knew him or her for, you know... I wouldn't kill my own dog or cat for food, but like, what's the difference though between your dog and cat and the food that you eat? Well, they're not pets. They're, um, they're. I mean, God made animals to be eaten. He says that the Bible. What about your dog and cat though? Wouldn't that be made to be eaten as well? Like, because that's what people in China uh, yeah, no. they eat them because they're not used for pets. It's like a, it's kind of like a cultural thing, right? I guess so. I mean, the cultural says these guys are pets and these are for food, and our culture says these are pets and these are for food, right? So it's sort of like de depicted by culture. So we can, we can justify a life to a culture because our culture said this one's okay and this one's not. A lot, a lot of times we do that though, because a lot like today in America, I know that not just in America, but people. To say I believe that rape is wrong, where in other cultures they believe rape is perfectly okay. Yeah. So we we definitely don't want to get, go there. It's God's law is the standard, and His standard is that He made man in His own image. Well, why, if God created us, though, why would we want to murder, or destroy? Well, that's why that's why it's wrong to uh, murder somebody, to intentionally kill somebody. But yeah. Well, unless it's like self-defense, then well, yeah. But you don't need you don't need to kill an animal, right? You don't have to eat them, but you choose to. I mean, I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't kill animals for the fun of it. I don't like. I know what I'm saying, but you don't have to, though, right? You can survive without eating them. Right? Um, I mean, I. I suppose you could. Um, like eating fruit, vegetables. Um, only based on fruits, vegetables, or nuts and seeds, right? We could survive. With a complete. It's actually a very healthy diet. Yeah, and that. And that. What's that? How are you? I'm fine. I apologize for yeah. If you could do us a favor, we just go to, we go to Wabash. This is part of the special event. We're just trying to get everyone out. Yeah. But you could do it. You could do it in the street. Just go to Wabash. And you could do your. You could do everything you want to do. Just slide straight down. Just get. Yeah, just go to Wabash. Okay. Go on Wabash. Are you, go on the sidewalk. Are you going to move down there, to Matt? There's a hundred thousand people trying to get out. Oh, I know. So just go to Wabash, and that gets enough people west. I'm telling you. Okay. I don't know if he's going to go down there. You can try to explain it Many to friend, we'll, we'll do it too. Are living in the but sin that's that helps us get 100,000 kids out, and then you can go to Wabash and say your well, piece. They, will they be able to get to, to leave if we stay here? Well, we're going to make everyone 
no one's gonna be in the street. Yes, you get it. So I know, but like in the midst of them coming out, well, I mean, would they still be able to come out if we stay right here? No, you ask God for forgiveness and put your faith in Jesus Christ to be your savior. Don't trust in your good is This is causing a crowd, and now you're getting into traffic because we have 100,000 people who are trying to go west. So by you standing here, we don't want anyone in the street. To be in the street, we gotta go west. That is Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Um, did you, did you tell me yeah. like right, to move? But if you reject him, What's there that? will be punishment. Just it's go it's straight, straight down. If you hold on to your sexual immorality, there will be you punishment. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now? Um, I'm telling people how to be reconciled I, to God. I love you. I don't like, want don't you to go to hell. I love you enough to I'm warn sorry, you. It's unnecessary when you see somebody in danger, guys, you, to, you should warn them. If you love them and you being, see them in danger, well, not, you're not gonna animals, warn them. Not being the image of God. So many people are in danger of the wrath of God. So many people are in danger. Yeah, but again, they're not made like they're not made in the image of God. That's a distinction. That's the distinction that the Bible makes. Yeah, but isn't it wrong to inflict pain on something that's living, breathing, and innocent, defenseless? Yeah, I mean that's that's why I wouldn't I would not do it. But you yeah. you, you eat them though. So, so you guys can continue this conversation. That's fine. But like I said, okay. we're not letting people stand up. So just keep walking. You can have any freedom you want. It doesn't matter. Wake up, Chicago. This my man. Look this into, is look into, for you look into plant based diet. Look into that stuff because you can also live a life that's cruel, you know, doesn't inflict pain and suffering and murder and enslavement on others, even if they weren't created in God's image. Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree with you on, on the one. We shouldn't inflict pain on them because I, I agree with you on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so look into that so you don't have to inflict pain or murder on anything and live a life of, of cruel, cruelty free life where you're not destroying anything that has been created by God. You know what I mean? So we can create a better, more peaceful world. You know what I mean? We're definitely not a more peaceful world when we're doing this to children. Yes, 100%. But I'm saying, collect, we can do all of those together. Right? Yeah, I mean, animals should not be tortured. That's what I'm saying. You can put an end to all of it. All the enslavement, the murdering, the suffering. You can put an end to all of it. So one thing is just as important as the other. You get what I'm saying? Well, if you kill an animal, that's definitely different than killing a human being because of what I was just saying, that people are made in the image of God. I hear you. I, hear you. I mean, do you agree? All of it's unnecessary. I might write it, have someone write you a ticket, I don't know. Okay. All murder is unnecessary, right? All murder of human beings is unnecessary. I wouldn't say that killing them animals is murder. Well, according to God's law. Unless, but, unless you would need to, though. But, but the thing is, we don't need to. We live in 2018 where we don't rely on any of that anymore. We don't, we're not cavemen. Right, right, right? Yeah, we're not cavemen anymore, I mean. So we don't, although, although, although we are, we're definitely savages in what we're doing in this country to people. Yeah. Just looking at that, right? Okay. We're trying to every, we just want it. You can do it over there where it's not crowded. Okay, just let me talk again. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going over by myself. It, it, um, well, try to get your buddy to have the reason. Okay. Positive resolution. Are you with him? Yeah. So here, we don't mind you doing this. <coughs> <laughs> but with impeding the flow of traffic, that you can't do. Well, I mean, if I go to Wabash. I mean, I know. I mean, I know. If like, for like right here, we're not really impeding. I don't. I mean, we're not really impeding that much if we're just standing like right here, are we? Because here's the thing. Treat everyone the same, right? And right now, the goal is to get 100,000 people out of here. So we're telling everyone, get up and go. We can't have people standing here. That's all. So what will happen if we just stay here, like right in the center? Let me ask you that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking. Well, if you can complete people flow of traffic, then we have other measures. But I don't think we need to get that. I don't think we need to get that point. I mean, that's just something. I mean, Why would you try to do that? I'm just asking. Why don't you listen to the lawful order of not blocking the flow of traffic, not blocking people trying to exit a concert? You get, you're more than half, you're more than welcome to preach, to advocate your, your cause, but right now you're blocking the flow of traffic. That's unfortunately against the law for you. Yeah, if you went up, if you went to block down, you're all good. So think about it and we'll revisit.
really nice, like, uh, what are you all about, man? The gospel of Jesus Christ. What am I, what, can I get a flip? Jesus Christ. Thank you. We're, we're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to, to people who are dying and going to hell. Well, we're preaching because people are dying and going to hell. They're lost in their sins. And we're murdering children by the thousands every day in, in, this, in this culture. And and, and no, almost nobody is going to the streets over, over these two things. No one's talking about these two things because nobody cares. Very few.